Hello, the topic for today's session is SAP HANA, the column-oriented database. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So on the screen, you're seeing a typical table, a very simplified employee table containing data for employees. So each record is representing an instance of an employee. So we have three employees right now, Hassan, Larry, and Bill. And we are storing four attributes of employees, namely ID, name, department, and salary. Now this is the view that you see when you're working with databases, and this is a logical view, meaning this view is created just for you to see on the screen. All this data is stored back-end in the database files, and how a database is, is storing this information is not visible to you and that could be very different than what you're seeing on the screen. That's why a table is called a logical structure and how the table is stored in the back end could be very different than what you're seeing on the screen. So there are two methods available to store the table information in the back end files. One is called row-oriented method and other one is called column-oriented. So databases that use row-oriented method are called row-oriented databases like Oracle for example and databases that use column-oriented method are called column-oriented databases for example SAP HANA. So in this session we're trying to understand the difference between the two methods and and we'll try to see what are the benefits SAP HANA will get out of the col column-oriented storage method. So here's an example of how a row-oriented database will store information. Keep in mind that not necessarily one table will go in one file. There could be multiple tables going in one file, like Oracle in one database file would, would store multiple tables. But just to give you an example, each record here, for example, the one record here in the table is one Hassan Finance 5000. So this is one record. This is going as one row in the backend database file with some kind of a separator between the values and some kind of a separator between the records, like semicolon is separating the uh, records. And in the actual file, all the records could, could go in one line. Here I'm putting the second record in the second line. Now compare this with a column-oriented structure. Here, we are not taking the whole record of Hassan, one Hassan Finance 5000 in, in one row. Okay, we are reading all the column values, like one, two, three, and storing them as one row in the backend file. We still have a separator between the values, comma, and we still have a separator, semicolon representing a start of a new column values. I wouldn't use the word record here because one, two, three is not one record. One record is, is still one Hassan Finance 5000. Each record is representing an instance of an entity. So here, this is one column set. I can use the word one, two, three is one set. Hassan Larry Bill is another set and so on. Okay. Now all the columns are stored together in one row. 1, 2, 3, Hassan, Larry, Bill, Finance, Finance, IT, and so on. If I go back to row-oriented structure, here you can see all the values in one record are stored together. So this is the difference between the two storage methods. Now just to give you an idea of the benefits of column-oriented structure in certain situations, keep in mind I'm using the word certain, okay? because column-oriented is not an answer to every situation. Now, for example, you are doing queries like, give me the sum of all the salaries. Okay, just take this query for, for now. In row-oriented method, you have to read each row from top to bottom, assuming that there are no indexes. Just keep the situation simple. You have to read each row from top to bottom. So we only have three rows right now, or three records right now in the system. So that's why we are only talking about three. But if you have 1,000, then you have to read all of them in order to find out the sum of all the salaries. Because each salary 
is located in a separate record and to find the sum of salaries you have to read all the salaries so you're gonna go from top to bottom in this situation you're doing three reads read of record one read of record two and read of record three and in order to answer the same query in column oriented method you will simply going to read the last row just one read will answer this question because all the salaries are stored in the last line 5,000 10,000 10,000 okay so just one read will give you an answer here you have to do three reads now let's take a look at the second example you need average of all salaries again in row oriented method you have to do three reads to find out the average you have to not only get the sum of all the salaries you have to count the rows too so you're gonna go from top to bottom three reads here you just do one read and you will get the sum of salaries the number of salaries and you can do the average and similarly if you want a count of employees you can do just one read in column oriented method and this will give you a count and you can read the IDs of all the employees and this will give you a count so you have seen how column oriented structure gives you a better performance when you are doing aggregation functions like some average and so on on certain columns and row oriented will result in not as excellent performance as column oriented because here you have to do more reads each read is costly because it takes time now I'm going to talk about another situation where you're gonna see that row oriented method is better you're inserting a new record and this record is let's say the fourth one so in row oriented method system has to insert one row in the database so now we're only talking about the backend structures I'm not showing you the table okay so this is the row oriented backend file and this is the column oriented backend file so when you're inserting a new record one row has to be inserted in this file and just one insert one insert is less costly than four inserts or four updates to the rows and take a look at column oriented method here system has to update each of the four rows because now values are being appended at the end of each row because here the the record is spanning from top to bottom okay uh, meaning one record is spanning across all the rows keep in mind by definition a record is representation of an instance of the entity so for Clinton IT 5000 this whole thing is one record in row oriented database the whole record is in in, in one row and in column oriented database this whole record is spanning across four rows so in order to insert a new record it's more costly in column oriented method because system has to update the four rows here only one one insert will do the job after taking a look at these examples now we are in a position to talk about OLTP versus OLAP databases OLTP stands for online transaction processing and these are the systems where numerous transactions are happening in short period of time and lots of inserts are happening in the database and uh, examples would be let's say Walmart system you're buying something and the databases are getting updated with whatever you have purchased banking you swipe your card and transactions happening and even the data entry invoices are being entered and payments are being created so users of OLTP systems are operational users staff employees etc and OLAP online uh, online and analytical processing uh, systems are meant for different purpose here the users are not operational staff they are managers they are owners and these they are the people who will be making decisions and they are not inserting data and they are not entering transactions they are doing queries they are looking for trends so here lots of inserts are happening in OLTP and in OLAP lots of queries are happening and queries on massive data so most of the OLTP systems are using row oriented or row based storage methods for the reasons I've explained because lots of inserts are happening in OLTP and in OLAP 
most systems are balance of column oriented and row oriented sometimes column oriented is better sometimes row oriented is better okay so it's not straightforward that column oriented is for OLAP and row oriented is for OLTP we can say row oriented is for OLTP but OLAP they use balance of the two methods these days a new breed of databases have emerged called in-memory databases and these databases keep almost all the data in RAM random access memory rather than on the hard disk and even if they're using hard disk they're using solid state drives so they're pretty fast and they're keeping most of the data in the memory so they keep the data in a compressed format and compression is easier in column oriented method as you can see on the screen because most of the values will repeat in columns like gender male female state for example will repeat the values will repeat from 50 states and even countries area codes just examples okay and name obviously name column will not have as common values but here you can see how compression is is easier as opposed to the row oriented method finance finance IT IT so instead of storing in the database file finance finance IT IT system can use some some methods like two finance two IT meaning two finance values two IT values 5,000 10,000 10,000 5,000 these are the salaries and they're repeating too so system can combine like two ten thousands into two and use some kind of a separator here I'm using colon two colon ten thousand meaning two ten thousand values so this is again this example of how compression can happen there are very uh, sophisticated compression algorithms out there but you get the idea of how compression is easier in column oriented as opposed to row oriented and that's why SAP HANA is based on column oriented storage structure and it's a column based database and compression is its one of a, one of an important attribute it compresses the data and keeps compressed data in the memory and it compressed 10 to 25 percent meaning it can store 4 to 10 times the data if you have let's say 1 terabyte of memory then that means you can put 4 to 10 terabytes of data in the memory 